What's up guys? So today I'll be showing you how to install Python on Windows 11. So it's very simple. The first thing you're gonna do is launch your favorite web browser. I use Chrome, so I'll use Chrome, but you can literally use any web browser. And then go to the Python official website. That's at python.org. And then hit enter. And this is the official Python website. And then you want to go to the download section by clicking on downloads. And once you open the downloads page, the Python website will automatically detect that you're on Windows and prepare for you the Windows download. So all you have to do now is click on download Python 3.10.5. Now from the dialog box that appears, the default download destination is the downloads folder, but you can choose an alternative destination folder if you want to. I'll just leave it on downloads and click on save and allow Python to be downloaded. And once the download is complete, you can click on this little arrow and click on show in folder. Or maybe if you use a different browser, you can go straight to file explorer and then go to the downloads folder or whichever folder you chose and you should find the Python installer there. Now, let me just close this browser so we can concentrate on the installation process. So what you want to do is double click on the Python installer. And once the installer is launched, you can now go ahead and close that. Now, normally on other apps, I will advise you to use recommended settings. But for this one, we're going to choose customize installation. And this is because there are a couple of custom options I want us to choose. So on this first page under optional features, make sure everything is checked and then click on next. And under advanced options, there are a couple of things I want you to select. First, make sure install for all users is checked and that will automatically select pre-compile standard library. And also you want to make sure you check add Python to environment variables. That's very important to so make sure it's checked. And then the next thing I want us to do is create the Python folder directly into the C drive. Instead of having it under program files, Let's create the Python folder directly in the C drive. That should make our work easier once we open the command prompt. So what you wanna do is copy the folder name. Just copy that. And let's change the install location. So click on browse and then go to this PC and then go to local disk C. And inside local disk C, go ahead and click on make new folder. And it'll create a new folder and you want to rename that new folder by pasting the name we copied and then click OK. And this is what you should see the Python folder directly in the C drive and then go ahead and click on install. Confirm. Yes. You want to allow this app to make changes to your device. Click on yes and allow Python to be installed. All right. So once the installation is complete, you can see setup was successful. Click on close and now it's time to test if Python is actually working on our Windows 11 machine. So let's launch the command prompt you Can click on search type CMD and then click on command prompt. Let's check if Python is working. So what you want to do is simply type Python. And we're only typing Python because we installed the Python folder directly into the C drive. So all you have to do now is type Python press enter and you should see the Python version that you installed. That is Python 3.10.15 and that confirms Python is installed and running on the PC. You can even go ahead and do a quick print just to ensure everything is okay. So let's go for the print function. Let's try and print that, press enter. And as you can see, it was successfully printed. We love you please subscribe and make sure you do just that. Anyway, thanks for watching and good luck.